going to design an acoustic guitar bridge using Onshape. To get started, I make a sketch on this top plane. And I will draw a rectangle. The bottom edge needs to be three inches. And the height of the side needs to be 1.42. I'll finish that sketch and extrude it to a height of 0.3 inches on that profile. Now most acoustic guitar bridges have a thinned out edge. So I will select this surface and make a new sketch on it. And we'll work on making this thinned out. I'm going to draw an arc. Clicking one time on the edge one time up on the top, and a third time to set the radius somewhere near the middle, like so. I'm going to constrain this with a couple dimensions from the bottom edge to this point here. I want this to be 0 0.132 inches. And this distance from the right edge to this point I want to set this as 1.33. Now with this point fixed, this curve arcs too low, so I want to bend this a little bit more smoothly, like such. I'll go ahead and finish that sketch. Get into the extrude command, and I'm going to choose that profile. Only I'm going to remove material. And this distance should be the 1.42 from when we first created the part. My goal here is to make half the bridge and mirror it, which I'm going to do after we put the bridge holes in. Make a sketch on this top surface. And I'm going to put three points in where the bridge pins will go. I'm intentionally putting them in so that they are not in any kind of a straight line and they don't have any sizing or distancing in common. Each one of these, I want to make sure to be 0.72 inches from the edge. Similarly, I want to make sure that this edge to this hole or point is 0.2125. And then the distance between these two should be 0.425. And the distance between these two should also be 0.425. Everything is fully constrained. They're lined up in a row. I can finish this sketch. And we'll now use the hole command to create the holes for the pegs. I begin the hole command by selecting the three points. And I want to make these a countersunk. My countersink information is that I want the top of the countersink to be 0 0.23, the main diameter of the hole should be 0.186. 90 degrees is fine for the countersink angle, and for the depth, I'll put in a half inch to make sure it goes all the way through. this point, I've created the holes and I've got pretty well set up with half the bridge. 